I should be downtown whipping on the way to you You've got something that belongs to me So this is going to be just the simple ways on how you can draw a drake Now let's get started The first step is to draw a square And I'm using an HB graphite pencil, so I'm going to draw a square up here. And when you draw your square, you want to kind of have like a light hand. And you can see how I'm holding my pencil like right here because I'm getting like um, a light to medium um, hold. Okay, now that you have the square, um, next you want to draw like a little square here, kind of like that, like a little square on the end of the first big square. So two little mini squares on the side like that. And then like we want to cut this square in half. So draw a line. Try to um, put it in the middle. Now we're going to draw, make this like a curved line instead of it being like straight. We're going to curve that out. And then we're going to curve it on the side too. Just have it like curve it and then have it connect to that tiny box down on the side. Okay, so. We just rounded the sides, the edges like that. Now, draw like an, um, an oval shape right here. Two oval shapes like this. Now you want to make like another shape trying to make me feel away on purpose you want to have this kind of like a rectangle shape right here it back in my face. so now you want to have two parentheses so I'm kind of going like right here and making a parentheses and then like right here making a parentheses like this and then Connecting it kind of to the the nostrils, make like two like half circles like this. Okay, so just make sure you pay attention to like this space right here, in connection to these oval shapes that we laid down for the eyes. And then next, we're going to draw the ears. We're going to start right here, and don't like get too fussy with the ears we're just going to because we want to come back to all of this later so it goes from here to here right so just draw a shape like that and now we're going to draw the rest of his face so it's kind of like a U or like yeah, I would say like a U shape, right? I had to let go of us. Kinda draw his neck is just gonna be like what? like a V shape. So let me just go like this. Let me go like this. So do a V shape like this. For like shirt and shirt is like right here, and then his neck is right here, and then this goes to the jacket that he's wearing, the part of his hood. But we're not gonna pay that much attention to the fabric in here, but. I'm just gonna throw it on here really like has had you say cause it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah. Feel away, feel away, I better feel away. 
And now we're going to draw the shape for his lips. So the, the lips are going to kind of be like in the middle of the space. So you have the top shape and it kind of mimics the nose shape a little bit. It doesn't really look like the picture that right now, but don't like worry about the picture that much right now because we're gonna get there, okay? Alright. So now we're gonna draw his eyebrows and shape for his eyes. And then draw circles for his eyes and stuff like that. Alright. Now we're gonna want to erase all of the lines that we did. That's why I said to be sure that you have like a light touch when doing this part because we're going to be racing a lot of these lines. So for the eyes, right? The situation with the eyes is that it's not like I want it to be. So I'm just going to collect them because I want them to be up a little higher. to do the eyes last um, but I like to just make sure I have all the things like the um, elements for the eyes kind of like there but I'm not gonna I normally finish the eyes close to last because I feel like the eyes are the parts that kind of like bring the whole picture together so we're gonna get started with the shading okay so I'm still using that same pencil what I'm going to do is just use the side of it and just start right here. Start shading in kind of like a circle like this. And So, sorry, I cut off, but all I did was just fill in this eyebrow the same way, right? Now I'm going to make this line and this hit for the little part that he got. about a bit more too like that so it's not as square as it was at first so I'm just erasing the previous line and to be honest with you 
um you can bring that line down a tad bit more because later on in the video i do erase um some more part of his head so if you want to do like a little half an inch um less than what i did there feel free to do that um so now just shade it in the hair and then blended it out with some tissue and then we're going to do more shading on the face working on the nose and you saw that line that was there and just shading it and looking at the reference picture to get like the dark values and just shading it blending it using my finger or tissue whatever your preference is and just continue to shade and add layers and build and build and that's what makes it um more real looking now i'm working on the ears and you know just drawing some lines it's not a big deal it's all about just lines and shapes and what really brings the picture together is the shading and the blending so just continue to just work at that um adding color now filling in the eyes i leave a little white space for where the light is in his eye and then um follow up with making some darker lines around his eyelid and then more shading and blending more shading and blending and you kind of just want to just keep repeating that shading and blending shading and blending looking at your reference photo for those um values and color and shape and all of that adding more dark values now and i'm actually switched over to my um darkest pencil i had which is an hb8 pen graphite pencil so just throwing in the beard using small short strokes and then i'm going back to the hair and adding more value to the hair and i'm using the side of the pencil so that i can kind of get that hair effect from the texture of the paper and that's it and i hope you like it like i said this is just a simple beginner's um tutorial on how to draw and just to get a feel of drawing um faces and portraits so let me know what you thought about the video and please like it if you liked it pause it when you need to rewatch it send it to a friend who's interested in drawing Tag me on Instagram if you draw this so I can see. I would love to see your work. All right. Thanks. Bye.